When trouble looms, the fool turns his back, while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a yardy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! Alright, so we're gonna be disrupting a gang deal or whatever between the Colombian cartel and the Yardies because um, we're gonna be framing the Yardies today, so we're gonna have to get a Yardie Lobo, which is a Yardie gang car, to be able to get into this deal. Um, so we're gonna go over to Newport, which is where we can find a Yardie car. That's probably the only place they are at. Uh, of course, they they always tend to um, uh, respawn around the entire map like normal cars do, but like their their gang area, I guess you could say, is Newport, and that's where they respawn 100% of the time. So uh, yeah, Newport is actually right here. I, all right, I kind of missed it, but yeah, this is Newport over here. There should be one of the gang cars respawning soon. So, let's see. Oh, I think I see one. Yep, here we go. Alright guys, so here is the Yardy Lobo. You might have seen it before, I kind of pointed it out in a uh, past mission. So, uh, yeah. Now that we have the car, let's go and pick up our contact. Um, and the reason why we're doing this is because the Yardies, uh, I think they killed some cartel members. So, of course, we're gonna have to get our revenge on them and make sure they don't ever mess with us again oh my god that's one thing i hate about this car it's it's a good it's a cool car and i like the the cheetah leopard uh, skins of the uh, seats inside but it's so freaking it's like driving on ice rink it's so slippery um and it, it does the uh the low rider sounds as you can probably hear um this game was in two is in 2003 so i don't know how like I guess you could say popular lowrider cars were back then because you know the 90s were kind of over and um, you know lowrider low I don't think it was that popular after the 90s that's what I've seen at least in the 90s uh, sorry in DTA oh my god and I just had to do a complete u-turn around the place I'm supposed to go to I should be able to oh my god what a fail Alright, I think I should be able to get in through here. Yeah. So I kind of destroyed the car, but still we're able to use it. Now let's go and interrupt this deal. Which I think it's over here. I, I guess. Uh, I guess this is one of those missions I don't remember as much as the other ones. Press the horn, and I believe that is cap lock? No. Uh, left control tap. Oh, crap, I don't even know. Oh, there we go, it's shift. PC problems. Alright. And let's kill these Colombians. Oh god. Shouldn't be all that bad. Oh, you know what? I have some Molotovs. Sweet. Let's make this a little fun, you know? Sometimes you gotta go a little more hardcore on these kinds of missions. I think you're supposed to, uh, get rid of the cars. Yeah, I suppose so. But that's pretty easy, because in uh, LCS, when you burned a car, you know, I think I'm going to take this Esperanto over here. Um, when you burned a car in uh, Liberty City Stories, the car wouldn't blow up right away. Um, it would just burn, and then it would stop, and then you have to trade, you have to... You have to like throw another Molotov or two to make it actually explode from the fire. Well, that is not the case in this game because I threw like one Molotov at each car and they immediately blow blowed up after one fire. So that's cool. Um, that's one thing I just learned actually. It's crazy. I've known this game for a while and I still learn new things from it every day or every time I play it because I don't play it every day. Um, this is my second time completing it for the 100%, if you're wondering, by the way. Um, the first time I, I played it on PS2, 
You might have seen the uh, DT3 unboxing video that I did a long time ago. Back when my channel wasn't even about GTA yet. But anyway, here we are. Let's go ahead and uh, park ourselves here. And there we go. Pretty easy mission. Um, the only hard part is just to get the Yardy Lobo or Lo whatever it was called. And one thing I hate is all these cars are always locked and they're great cars. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. And uh, yeah, peace out, my bosses.